there's not many other inst uh, forums in which you could tell a story of Cary Grant giving you soap on a rope. He gave me young now, that's man. A that's young a, now please tell that story. <laughs> please tell that story. Well, I was I I, I was I was trying to close his daughter. Let's let's say that's how it <laughs> opens. Um, you know, yes. it was <laughs> as that's as what it all as comes you back do. to Rob. <laughs> um, it was I was probably <laughs> six. I just got my learner's permit, so I was what like fifteen and a half, sixteen. Uh, okay. And um, and she Jennifer the most beautiful Diane Cannon mom Cary Grant father. Oh my word! You yes. do the math. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and but she was having none of it. Like nice, too nice for me. Mm -hmm. Saw right through me. Yeah. Um, but didn't stop me. So I go to the house. He's got this amazing white on white modern house up in Beverly Hills. Over, I'd never seen anything like it. I was still two years out of date in Ohio. Mm -hmm. And I had my first big show was going to be on television that afternoon. It was a ABC after school special. Fantastic. Right. Called Schoolboy Father. And I was the <laughs> the young kid who was going to be a father. And uh and Carrie in, met me at the door in a white terry cloth robe. No. I'll never forget it. And <laughs> I was a, like a young punk. I was like, yeah, whatever, you crazy old man actor. What? I was just like a complete, I was like, I knew Carrie Granite from the Flintstones. <laughs> yes. I knew more about that than I knew about <laughs> Carrie Grant. I was a young punk, didn't know anything. And he's like, young man, do you mind if I watch with you? And so <laughs> he sat there and watched the, the, my very first show on the air with me and Jennifer. And I'll never forget at the end, he said, you remind me so much of a young Warren Beatty. And I thought, wow, this is, this is cool. And um, then as I was driving away, you know, Carrie at that point in his career had long reti since retired mm -hmm. and we had been out of the public eye. And what he would, what, one of the things he did was he was on, on boards, you know, business and one of the boards he was on was Fabergé. And so as I'm running down the driveway, I see him hauling ass in his robe with a handful of boxes. Like he, North by Northwest. Yeah, it, he's, it's exactly what he's doing in a robe with Fabergé products. Young man, I thought you might like to have some soap on a rope. And I had a soap on a rope that Cary Grant gave me in the shape of a microphone uh, for, for years in my, in my Shower. Ugh. Hilarious. Unbelievable. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.